I have ever heard that song before. Wow, not very many of you have heard that song, if you have. All right, well, that song, of course, was a marching song for the Union troops during the Civil War, the American Civil War. And we are, of course, uh, here we are on the what, third day of April in 2015, 150 years, almost to the day, from the end of the American Civil War. The American Civil War, uh, a war fought to end slavery in America. There were over three million, closer to four million, enslaved in the, the southern states and in some of the western states too, to that. So the struggle for freedom in America among those who were enslaved and, and their descendants, the legacy of slavery, is a long and deep history. But we think that that history is the most noble chapter in American history. Some of the songs that were sung among the enslaved people, among the African Americans in the southern part of the United States, some of those songs were the same melodies, the same songs that were used again a hundred years later from the 1850s to the 1950s in the modern civil rights movement. So what we're gonna do for you today is we're gonna sing some of the songs that I tell a little bit of those stories. You know, this song doesn't really come from the days of the Underground Railroad. It just describes what happened during the Underground Railroad years. So we need you to shake out your hands because this program is about freedom. Can you show me freedom in sign language? So we're going to need you to help us sing in sign language as well as we can voices. So you're going to say, follow the drinking movement. Follow the drinking movement. For the old man is a way for to carry you to freedom. If you follow the drinking movement. And I know some of you might know this song, so shake out those hands, enjoy yourself, and sing this beautiful song. Are you ready? Here we go. someone wrote that uh, Dr. Bloxham from the Smithsonian gathered up and found and gave to our good friends Kevin and Reggie Harris, who we sing with. And Reggie wrote this song based on that letter. Now I'm going to play it for you in a very special instrument. This is called an Appalachian dulcimer. And the song is called Heaven is Less Than Fair. Well, here's the story behind this song. Somewhere down here that is south of the Mason-Dixon line. Don't know exactly where. Almost doesn't matter where. It could be here in Maryland. There's a young man and he decides he's gonna, he's gonna make that escape. He's gonna take a chance. But you know, one of the real hardships about slavery in America was that people who loved each other didn't always get to live together. Didn't always get to stay together. Families were broken up. If you were married, it might be that your wife lived 25, 30 miles away if we're in the next county. She might live in the next state. Your father, you don't even know who your father is. You were taken away from your family when you were an infant. And this is also one of those kinds of stories. Because it's a long journey from Virginia to Canada. And your letter is written back saying, the cost of freedom is dear. So long ago that I was on that train 
Yeah. 